welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my boy honey. We're going to be making what I call a Weller float or root beer float with a little bit of Weller splashed into it. Absolutely delicious. So I'm going to make it before the ice cream melts. Hopefully I don't keep messing it up on these takes. And I have some filet of fish to go along with the float. So we're going to have three of these. I'm going to wash it down with the Weller float. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Let's go right into it. So first thing first, let's make the float. We're gonna splash some Weller 12 in here, a good generous amount, and then pour some mug root beer and mix it a little. Here we go. The ice cream is sort of melting already, so I gotta hurry it up. Put the mug root beer right over. There we go. Like all floats, root beer float or coke float, all that foam gets on top, which I don't mind, I don't like it. Gotta give it a little gentle mix in there. Ice cream. I put two scoops of ice, vanilla ice cream in here. More ice cream, better it is. Same with bourbon. Put a little more while they're in here. Oh yeah. Putting $400 weed of bourbon into a root beer float. Okay, right, tastes good. All right. Usually, this tastes really good during a hot, hot summer day. My kids, they love Coke floats, so you know I treat them to Coke float here and there. It's not that healthy, but you know, being a hot summer day, it's a good treat. And I make one for myself. Usually it'll put a little bit of adult beverage in there. Delicious. All right, I think it's ready. Let's do this. Oh yeah. This is, this is it. So good. Probably like 500 calories, but Let's go for the filet fish. I was passing by McDonald's. They had a big old picture of filet fish. Couldn't pass it by. So picked up a couple. Well, actually, more than a couple. So we'll we'll have it together with the with the Weller float and see what's what. <clears throat> Here we go. Mm. You know, when I was growing up, I remember having for the fish or for McDonald's or any burger. I remember being so big and you barely fit in my hands. Nowadays, I feel like they're. I swear they're getting smaller and smaller. I could eat these in like three bites. For the float, this will not be a root beer float. It could be a Coke float, just as good. If you're a little bit conscious about calories, put it in a Diet Coke, it'll cut the calories in half. I like the regular full on Coke though.
when I usually make it. I rarely use Relic 12 because it is expensive. I just use the regular green roller, but hey, you don't have to use roller. I just use roller because it's a weeded bourbon. It's very smooth. It's very rounded. And if I'm offering this to other people, usually the roller is a good choice. It doesn't really, it doesn't have any harsh tones in it versus let's say used like a rye whiskey or something very high in proof. So if you like the higher proof stuff, definitely try it with there with the higher proof whiskey. It doesn't even have to be bourbon, it could be any whiskey. You could put in a little splash of that. Oh man, it makes the whole world of difference. Rye whiskey, really good too. Almost tastes like you put like sprinkles of, not sprinkles, like crumbles of like mint chip Girl Scout cookies when you have a really strong rye whiskey mm. absolutely delicious it's epic there we go but if you're trying out for the first time and then you got weller lying around just put up or any weed at bourbon like maker's mark that's a good one or like go old elk put it in there it's really good it tastes different it tastes different someone told me to put vodka it was like years ago no, please told me to put vodka in a root beer float it was not good it's not good bourbon and or whiskey much better I remember going out, going to a and like a restaurant. It was a legit restaurant. It was like one nearby here. And they would always have a, they'll sell root beer. And when you, when you pay for it at the counter, they give you a giant mug, like, like this big, literally this big, right? And they take it out of the freezer. So it's all frosted and, and cold. And they put the ice cream in there already for you like two scoops and then you go to the side and they have a a and w draft you know a little pulley thing like a draft beer and you put it in there yourself man that was so good especially on like a hot california like 100 degree weather you go there you order one of those you go with a couple of your buddies you know i was poor back then go with a couple of your buddies pitch in five bucks get one of those and sip on it for an hour man I remember that that was really that's like the best best root beer I've ever had hmm. cheers In the very beginning when it foams up, it's just root beer foam and it's very light, it has no flavor. It's just very bubbly. But towards the end, it gets mixed up with the vanilla ice cream, all that sugary creaminess and the bourbon all gets synced up in there. Oh man, I love the cream towards the end. Last one. There you have it guys. There's my Weller float. Not much to it. Put a little bit of uh, Weller inside the uh, root beer float. Mix it up. Dream. It's a dream. Absolutely sublime. Tastes so good. Just goes down so easy. And the filet fish Classic. Everybody loves it. It was real good. Just washing it down with the, with the Weller float. Try it out. If you get a chance, especially on a hot day, Get some ice cream, get some vanilla ice cream, get some root beer. If you have a Weller handy, try it out and mix it all together. It's gonna be a great, great dessert, a uh, little treat for yourself. So let me finish this first. Oh 
all gone. If you get a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what you think of the Weller float that I just showed you guys. Have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.